All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. This right here is what you call an urgent update. Just a few hours ago, I made an update regarding the overall market talking about specific price targets uh, which actually did come true just right now as we speak bitcoin has seen a massive massive pullback as we know tomorrow is monday as you know we are going into monday morning there is more uncertainty uncertainty is definitely increasing so you know this obviously does not come as a surprise to me and again like i said just gave you guys an update a few hours ago and we've been talking about this over the course of the last two to three days to be specific as as well you guys know we keep it 100 unbiased um you know stuff on this uh channel and i keep it 100 realistic for you and you guys appreciate that smash that like button and hit that red subscribe button if you have not already but let's take a look at what is happening right now so across the board right now you're seeing double digits just today itself we're not talking about yesterday we're not talking about two weeks we're talking about just in the last 24 hours and even less we're seeing double digits drop across the market look across the board everything seems to be down right now a lot of red guys and look at the last seven days you're seeing some coins down 30 to 40 percent even and look at soul soul is down a staggering 31 percent but before we get into any further, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So I'm going to be quite frank with you guys. I know I might sound absolutely crazy, but I'm kind of happy about this uh, because you know, it gives me an opportunity to be accumulating some of the coins that I have been absolutely dying to accumulate, but just never managed to pull the trigger on them due to the fact that um, I just didn't feel um, you know comfortable. And now there's so much sale across the board. I am very, very eager. And as I've said in the previous drop that we did see back in July, I did not have any funds available. But this time around, I do have some funds available and I will go shopping. But let's take a look at what's happening across the board. So you can see just in $366 million liquidated from the cryptocurrency market in the past 60 minutes. So like I said, and I'll say it again, a lot of uncertainty right now. now a lot of people are anticipating that the stock market tomorrow is going going to crash even further down as you know a lot of people are starting to have fears regarding um you know inflation and all that good stuff um recession and again i don't understand how this recession thing keeps coming up as a conversation because let's face it we have been in a recession for the last two and a half years when are people going to wake up um sure you know i think japan stock market saw a massive crash that it hasn't seen for years and years and again that is also causing you know more uh you know fear across the global uh you know financial markets and right now crypto is definitely re reacting to that as i've said reminiscing the 2020 prices but looking at bitcoin dominance right now guys look at what ha has happened to the dominance and if you are a follower on the crypto zx channel you know what we've been talking about over the course of the last um you know few days dominance was showing us a massive sign that it wants to continue to go up and now with this massive uncertainty coming with it you know it's no secret that you know dominance is skyrocketing and we actually hit a new yearly high for the bitcoin dominance index approaching 58 percent with that said look as what happened with bitcoin bitcoin actually went below the $58,000 price point and we actually saw Bitcoin falling down to $52,200 guys a massive massive drop for Bitcoin right now and we did get supported because of course we do have some support around that range you can see this for yourself um, you know exactly around that uh, $52,200 we do have some uh, significant amount of support so, you know the price went all the way down there and has seen a little bit of a wick towards the upside so where we're currently sitting at is our July wick and um, right now guys as we are um, you know retesting some levels we haven't seen for months and months right now last time the price of um, you know Bitcoin was actually at fifty two thousand four hundred forty two dollars was actually back in February of this year so you can kind of tell as to how important this really is and now you know what the main question that a lot of people have right now is what happens next to be quite frank with you if this support does not hold like I said now now everyone realizes what crypto ZX has been uh, constantly talking about if you don't 
watched my update yesterday um, and even today, just this morning, um, a few hours to be uh, exact, you know, if you watch that update, I did mention to you guys as we are leading into Monday morning, we're going to see uncertainty increase. We're going to see people become more fearful and that's exactly what happened and I do believe some massive, massive big players also panic sold, um, which caused this massive move towards the downside. So if now this support does not hold around the $52,292, what is the next realistic uh, support level? To be quite frank with you, a $48,000 support could be next in the books. And last time we were at, that was of course back in February as well. So it's been quite some time and could we see Bitcoin actually fall down to uh, that level? That would be an additional 11% drop, guys. Do you know uh, I don't like saying this, but you know, we keep it 100% realistic on this channel. This is pretty much, you could say, the first time we would be retesting the 38 point to Fibonacci retracement uh, support level, uh, which is at $48,000 exactly for the price of Bitcoin. We haven't seen that for quite some time, and this could trigger altcoins to go down further more, believe it or not. So, um, I really, really hope right now, you know, what I'm really hoping for is the fact that if you are a regular viewer on my channel, you locked some profits in. And speaking about profits, I'm sure you guys watch each and every one of my videos uh, that I bring you guys. If you do watch that, there's one thing that I'll always emphasize. Don't listen to other people lock those profits in because you never know how these markets can turn around. And the people that did take profits, give yourself a pat on the back because guess what? You are probably getting um, the coins that you pretty much held down 30 to even 35% at a discount. So I'm sure no one's complaining at that point, but the people that did not lock in profits, let this be a learning lesson. I cannot stress this enough. But guys, this is looking very, very scary right now in the immediate short term. Nothing has changed in terms of the broader crypto market. We're still in a bull market. And, um, you know, people that are being fearful right now, I think are going to be the winners in the upcoming months ahead of us. You know, once kind of things cool off and, you know, we do hear more about the stock market, how things are going to um, really work out. Um, I do believe crypto market is going to rebound very quickly uh, based off of historic patterns. And, you know, we're having a massive sell off. So there's going to come a time, you know, we're, we're oversold. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of a bounce. Um, we did see a little bit of a fake out earlier as well. But, you know, we did see that massive pullback, massive amounts of liquid liquidations across the board let me know down below what you guys personally are doing with your crypto uh, positions uh, what is your overall strategy but the mentally you know do not be surprised that you know bitcoin does touch a forty-eight thousand dollar price point if it were to lose that support and i'm going to be honest with you there's not much support after that so you know we need to keep it 100 percent realistic and the way dominance is going up right now this does not help at all as well so you know let's really focus on some of the news that's going to come out tomorrow how stock market reacts um you know i'm going to be awake today because this is not going to make me sleep um uh, because i want to catch if there is an ish more drop i want to catch the perfect dip but let's obviously um you know take it one step at a time let me know down below what you guys think about this love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out